few weeks ago, I told you that 2024 is going to be a big year for RTS, and the game I'm about to show you is no exception. Its name is Global Conflagration, and it's an RTS game that strikes me as a bit of a mix of Company of Heroes, Red Alert 2, and a tiny bit of Generals. Okay guys, so welcome to Global Conflagration. Now I had played this a uh, few years ago, but I can't remember if I made a video on it. I just searched on my channel and I don't think I did, but some of you may remember me talking about it. Some facts about this game, I've got two developers. There is uh, base building in this game, there's no population cap, there's three factions. There's skirmish and multiplayer so far, I don't know if there'll be a campaign uh, further down the line. There's lots of units and buildings and different tech trees. It's not like uh, generals where you just build a palace and that unlocks all of your tech. There's different tech trees and stuff like that, but without being too complex, but also a little bit more complex than like uh, generals, for example. Um, it's obviously still in development. I've got an early access build. I think I've got the build from Steamfest, but uh, yeah, the developers gave me access to it after that. And also it's got a camo editor. So if you go inside of this, you can basically select a unit, move the camera just by clicking and dragging, and you can set your own kind of skin on it, set your own colors. So you'll still re retain the game color you select wh when you uh, go into a game. Um, elements of it. So for example, can I zoom in here? I think I'm zoomed into the max. But yeah, you see like the yellow parts, for example, I think they will stay the same in the, uh, in the game, but you can camouflage on whatever the rest of it. If I load this one, I basically made an all blacked out uh, camo. Basically just set everything to black so that's really cool i actually think all rts games should have that and i actually even think that even charging for like the most exclusive um skins or like maybe you win 100 games in a row and you unlock a super skin or something like that or maybe like you have a one in a thousand chance of unlocking a super rare skin things like that i think could be cool for um for rts games and uh help the developers bring in a bit of money while also keeping the cost of the um the actual game to buy down just my uh, just my initial thoughts. There are a couple of negatives about this game. We'll jump into sk uh, skirmish first. You can do skirmish and multiplayer. Played a couple. Of, well, I w watched a few games of the developers uh, or a developer playing against another YouTuber and uh, this guy Jill, who's like the balance guy. He seemed like super super good. Um, so today here, I'm just going to play as like the EDU. There's three factions. EDU is like the European Defense Union. I'm guessing. It's like, uh, it's like basically you're playing as Europe. Vanguard PMC is like you're playing as like the, the Russians or like Wagner PMC before whatever's happened to it now. And uh, Carpathia is a little bit like GLA. They bolt together things using scrap and whatever. And uh, it's a bit like a frost punk style faction with just basically loads of scrap stuck together to make a random tank and stuff like that. I'm just going to put it on easy for the time being because I just want to talk through this with you. And also, I'm still a super beginner at this game. So I'm going to choose 
the edu i'm gonna choose blue but then with my black skin i actually spelled badass wrong but you couldn't uh, <laughs> i typed it too fast that you couldn't uh go back and change it so yeah you're building on a grid system that is one of the negatives of this game and as the edu you want to build a power plant first you start with this rifle squad and this uh, drone and you're not going to be collecting resources like in generals you're going to be capturing points so these are called logistic points or checkpoints and those are going to bring in resource which you can see here every five seconds your resources will update so i've got 264 but in a minute it's gonna well in five seconds it's gonna plus 72. um so these are bringing in 16 but you can build this pioneer and double the amount of income you're getting from those so we're gonna i think i've actually picked probably the worst map to start on because i think this is still uh in development this map it's like um oh we're gonna get attacked there it's not got any trees on it and all that stuff so we're literally um on a on quite a bare map right so i'm gonna build a pioneer i'll show you what that does in a second and we're gonna build a couple of these martyrs from this uh, mechanic center like i said before i am super noob at this super beginner this is probably my third game or so so i'm gonna build this pioneer you can dig in you can entrench by pressing the d key gonna get the pioneer to support over there and why am i not getting that I think maybe there's bad guys there. I like the voices. I love the crazy detail on these uh, models. That's a power plant. Uh, okay, so we built a pioneer. You're going to put a pioneer on your logistic point or checkpoint, and it's going to double the income. So I'm going to build another one there. So that should be plus 32 now, as you can see. Stay alert. Let's unpack those. Let's get a barracks. So yeah, you're going to be building on a grid system. That is one of the negatives. Not dozers and workers, sadly. I do think they'd be on a real winner if they'd set out with that in mind. I feel like they've took a little bit from Men of War, Assault Squad 2, and Company of Heroes here. Those are the games that it reminds me of. Okay, so barracks is built. So we're going to build a couple of uh, rifle squad, a couple of guided missile squads. And I'm building this martyr as well. So those two are upgraded now with the pioneer. I'm going to now upgrade that one. And then I'm going to upgrade this one. Yeah, at least with the easy AI, you've got time to think about things. Because if it, I, I put like medium or hard before, and even though I was trying, I just kind of got wrecked. But I think I, I still need to learn the basic builds. Basically, if you're the EDU, you're open with a power plant. That's what the balance designer told me. Uh, we can probably drop down a helipad next. Guided missile squad. Inventory checked. Checkpoint captured. Handle that weapon with care, damn it. So, what is that? That's a checkpoint. You can also get what it calls strong points. And you can build like a defense. That same pioneer unit, you can build a defense on it. Like a big rocket launcher or something, a ground defense or an anti air turret. Okay, so let's build our skycopter. Training. Training. Rolling stuff up is our special So I'm thinking since we have most of the map here, we're just gonna like entrench here. HQ, what are the coordinates? Entrench there as well. You can load guys up inside of these. Kind of like a technical from from zero. You can hold the alt key and move the camera around like this and then you can press F11. You've got like a more cinematic shot just like in the intro of this video. But it does get crazy loud. 
think I might even need to turn the settings down. There's limited settings in here. Yeah. And one of the negatives is I tried to build a massive base in like a sandbox, sandbox mode. Built loads of units. Built loads of buildings. And I had the screen like full of a base and it started to lag. And I also tried with uh, eight AIs in like a free-for-all or 4v4. And that kind of lagged a little bit as well. So I think they got some optimization uh, to be doing. So the next building I'll build is a factory. The one I built before was a mechanic center. Uh, wait, did I? Yeah, that's the mechanic center. As a new player, all the buildings kind of look the same. There's no way to e easily distinguish. I always find myself putting my cursor over it. Like, that's a mechanic. That's a barracks. That's a factory. So mechanic is building, like, light vehicles. And factory is building like more heavy stuff. That's the way I'm remembering it. You can build a sky protector here and a ADAT defensive turret, defensive turrets. And you can build them at the same time building. as dropping down that building, for example, building. and build a pioneer all at the same time. Low power. Building. So, Train yeah, not like uh, Command and Conquers and stuff like that where you just basically can only build one. Building completed. At a time. I suppose in, in like Red Alert, you can uh, build a defense and a normal building at the same time. So yeah, it is capturing checkpoints. I think, you know, we won't hang around too long in here. We will move in and kill the enemy because we have put it on easy here. Now, I don't even know if this one can shoot. You can fire this drone. I think we've already done. So then he can build like Highlanders, which is basically like an artillery unit. Quite a big range. Think of it like an Inferno cannon that's used like a incendiary or explosive thing. And I think in this, if you destroy the headquarters, I don't think they can rebuild it. So we'll also do a power drop there. So we've got a reinforcement plane coming in now. We've done a power drop. Paratroopers call into the battlefield. So if you see there, that power drop is costing us this thing here called base material. On base material. There's a spelling mistake there actually from the developers. It says power plant material. But it's missing the R of power plant, isn't it? The detail on these models is crazy. That's the headquarters or CC gone down now. We can build another power plant. What key for that is Z. But yeah, we won't spend too long on this map because it's, it's the least detailed. So even though that's a long range like howitzer type thing, you can still... Uh, that's the T-90 tank, by the way. Yeah, it can still engage in close combat like that. So this here cannot actually fire by itself, but it can fire a drone. And I think the drone does explosive damage. Yeah, it's a loitering munition. So it might just loiter around until it finds a target and then hit it. Okay, so that's that. Let's jump into the next one. Okay, so I'm back in the lobby. This time I'm going to choose the Carpathia, which is more like a GLA faction. I'm going to choose a different uh, color. Let's go orange, put the enemies like pink, and they can have mountain spots of different color schemes you can choose. And we'll pick a different map. I personally think Wind Carver is pretty good. That's the rainy one. We'll whack it up to medium and see if we get destroyed. We can open barracks first, according to the balance designer on this one. Uh, so barracks first. Okay, so one and two. Control group these. So you got this drone that uh, drives around, or reconnaissance, reconnaissance crew. But it can't fire. It can only move around really quick. Like in one of the mods of Generals... Yeah, once you build a barracks, I kind of don't know what to build, actually. Um, 
I'm guessing you build a power plant. Checkpoints captured. Let's see what Teraptor will be there. So these things on the battlefield here, this is a strong point. I think you can ignore those for now and just focus on getting the resource ones, which are the... Um, Training. Which are the... Um, logistics point or, or checkpoint. They bring in cash from what I've seen. There needs to be some little key in this game. Uh, there's like an intro training, but it doesn't really tell you what each of these does. I think like we can ignore that probably. Uh, let's build... Can I build a helipad now? I need 500, so there we go. I can now. So yeah, that small one there. Oh, these wind turbines, by the way, you can go inside of them as like a garrison. Let us have our revenge. From what I've seen when I've played against the AI, the uh, making an infantry blob in the beginning like that is actually kind of good. Okay, so I need a research institute next. Cost a thousand though. Checkpoint captured. Time to strike back. Not sure. Oh. It's okay, it's both of our drones are on it. That's why. Checkpoint captured. Let's do this, boy. We are under fire. Let's take the fight to them. Contacts. Our base is under attack. You can use um like a boot speed kind of thing there, so they will go faster. Let's build this research institute, so then we can build, like, this Martis helicopter, which is a slow airborne artillery. Yeah, you can garrison buildings, just like in uh, other games. Okay, so we do need to build a battle ball, which is an expansion unit, which will go on these points. I probably should have done that sooner, actually. All right, so we're holding most of the points there. Building completed. Squad. We are off to war. Move orders confirmed. Reconnaissance on the field. Checkpoint contested. Throw anything at us. Rebuilding our Training. Let's get another one of those. Okay, I think I want to get a mechanic center soon. But I'm actually, I'm focusing on this, aren't I? I'm focusing on getting this. How much is that? It's 1,500, actually. So I do need to save up a little bit to get that. I would like to take that. You got, You don't have to stay on the point to hold it, but you've got to stay on the point, obviously, to defend it. Let's get inside of that. So let's just dig in there, I think. Let's get a battle ball again. And now we can build this. Okay, so I don't think I built one of these actually before. Slow airborne artillery, long range and vision excels at supporting units from long range, vulnerable to anti air. Checkpoint captured. Training. Okay, so he's got quite a few vehicles actually. <laughs> So, probably want to get this mechanic sensor, which is going to build our vehicles. Want to get this cool helicopter out. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. I actually didn't realize it was that. Our 
Our base is under attack. Building lost. Training. Building lost. I don't know if any of them can fire up. Bit of a beast, though, isn't it? It's a bit of a beast indeed. Okay, so I'm building some light vehicles. Okay, so I want to get that back. I'm guessing if I put the airship there, probably not going to take it. You need something on the ground, I think. I think having the airship there, though, between these uh, garrisons could be good. We can do a satellite scan on the enemy base. Not that I can target it correctly. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think rushing that out has been, has been good for us. See, so yeah, if you look at our buildings, look how detailed they are. So apparently, I think he said the developer said it's 4K textures. The only thing is, yeah, like I said, when you put like eight AIs legs, seven AIs in yourself, I mean. Okay, we haven't built a factory yet, so let's build a factory. We also could do building another battle ball. They go on a logistics point. Training. Oh, they're anti aircraft. Okay, the electrical. Paul has gone for a massive walk. <laughs> it is early development, remember, so you're going to see uh, some weird stuff. It's not even in early access yet. I think they basically rushed this build out probably f to meet um, the deadline for Steam Fest. So people could have a try of it and stuff. Okay, we're low power currently, so we need to make a new power. Okay, so we need to upgrade to advanced tech. So to get advanced tech, basically need to click on your mechanic. And then you're going to either click increased workforce, so you increase production speed by 25%, or you're going to click on mech center and you're going to upgrade it to build like advanced vehicles. That's the way I understand it. It's also a bit weird. You, from the helipad, you can get upgrades for all your ground units. So conceal your stalkers. Upgrade your tanks. Upgrade your egrets. I don't even know what they are, to be honest. Training. Oh, you can build these chemical suit guys as well. You can get a control Training. tower. Okay, so I think we can probably attack now. Let's see how that's going to go for us. Okay, we can call in a support artillery barrage. Okay, 
out some action. We are off to war. Fire. I need to scan the enemy base. There it is. Okay, artillery base. Artillery attack didn't kill. Um, one building. Okay, main battle tank is this hound. I think we should queue up a bunch of those. When, when you queue up a unit, it takes your cash from you immediately. So if you queue four, four tanks, that money's stuck then and you can't use it elsewhere. So I could either go straight for the kill here or try and take the capture points. I think I'm just going to go straight for the kill. can build stuff up from his menu here. Oh, I've just sold something by mistake. What did I just sell? I think I just... I don't even know why I just sold, sold something important. Build a control tower. Maybe the control tower is what I sold actually. Yeah, this uh, mortis is very powerful actually. If the enemy doesn't have anti air, it can just dish out damage all day long and we're going to destroy the CC, the HQ. I don't know if you can repair that. Okay, build another power plant. Oh, we, oh no, it's the helipad we sold, isn't it? The helipad. Oh, those tanks are stuck. Oh, that's not good, is it? <laughs> we got a bug in the game. It is early access, like, uh, well, not even early access. Very early build. Yeah, that thing is an absolute animal, isn't it? Love the way it's got this skull on the front. So what you can do is zoom in, press F11, hold the Alt key, and then you can look around like that. So good for getting screenshots, th thumbnails and stuff. You can just do that at any point. It becomes hard to scroll and hard to select units when you do that. But in case you wanted to. You can. Okay, so I think I've brought a pioneer by mistake. We are victorious. So yeah, like I say, it's a very early um, access build at the minute. It's not even out to uh, everybody else, but thanks to the developers for giving me Give me a go here. I'm sure you agree this is uh, looking pretty cool. It's a shame about the uh, resource collection. I would love it if you could build a supply center. I would love it if you could send dozers and workers everywhere. But unfortunately, that is just the way it is. Yeah, there, there, there are some issues with the game. Like, for example, the, the dude inside of a tank there as well. Also, just tanks in general tend to stack on top of each other and they go inside of one another. Um, and same with like some buildings. The tanks go through buildings. And the grass sticks through buildings as well when a building is placed. What I would personally like is when you place a building that it then wipes out the grass nearby, kind of like it does with the trees, and the trees stay there for ages. Um, but yeah, when you put eight AIs on the, on the largest map, um, it does lag. So I think they've got a bit of work to do, but you can see 
in the trailer, I think Early Access 2024 is what they said, so you can look forward to it this year. GG, well played. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I'll leave the Steam link down below. I'll leave their Discord down below, and I will see you in the next one.